prices of an item are responsible for changing the quantity supplied of that item, but there are a variety of items that will change the entire supply for an item. The supply curve shifts to the right when it increases, or it will shift to the left when it decreases. When supply shifts to the right, it implies that sellers are willing to provide larger quantities of the product at every price point. Prices may change after the fact, but prices are not the cause of the change in the quantity supplied. The opposite is true for a decrease in supply as well. When supply shifts left, fewer units will be supplied at each price. There are a variety of factors that could shift the entire supply curve and affect a provider's willingness to supply products to a market. Some of those include a change in the cost of production or inputs, technological advancements in the production process, the discovery of new resources that can be used to produce other items, government policies like taxes or subsidies aimed at changing the production levels, the number of qualified suppliers of an item, the price of substitutes or complementary goods, expectations about future prices of the product. Most of the supply shifts seem pretty intuitive. For example, if we find more oil in a remote area, we should expect to see the supply of oil increase. If some companies go out of business, then we would expect the supply curve for that industry to decrease. If firms think they can sell their product in the near future for a higher price, they may reduce the amount they supply today in anticipation of higher future prices. Taxes are sometimes imposed to encourage producers to restrict their output, while subsidies are often provided to incentivize firms to produce more products. Taxes shift the supply curve to the left, while subsidies shift the supply curve to the right. Firms have multiple options of products they could sell. If the price of a substitutable item decreases, the firm will want to increase the supply of the now relatively more expensive item. If an automotive company can make sedans or trucks and the price of trucks decreases, they will decrease the quantity they supply of trucks and increase the supply of sedans. Companies prefer increasing the supply of the relatively more expensive item. The toughest supply shifter is the impact of input costs on the production process. If the cost of producing items increases, the firms will decrease the supply of that product. Often, we think that if costs go up, that the firm needs to sell more in order to make up for that. An easy counter argument is what a firm would want to do if their production costs decrease. If it's cheaper to make the product and prices are the same, the firm doesn't want to decrease the amount they provide to the market. Increases in production costs will decrease the supply of the product, while decreases in production costs will increase the supply of the product. Remember, changes of demand and supply are assuming first that prices aren't changing. Once supply or demand shift, prices may adjust to capture these changes, but prices will change after the shift, not before it.